Uh, our experience began in August of 2007. We noticed uh, a slight lump on the uh, right hand side of Felidez's face. Uh, we took ourselves immediately to our, our GP and um, we initially thought it might have been a swollen salivary gland. Uh, you certainly don't expect it. And, um, and I didn't really know how I felt. I was beside myself for, for quite a long time. Um, we were going through the cancer ward and I didn't know why. And um, we went through to the place where we talked to the doctors and um, they told us we ha that I had a tumour on the side of my face but I didn't know what it was. Her first question to me the day of her MRI was, am I going to die? And in my head, I was thinking, yes, you could. Uh, to her, I had to say, no, because we're going to fight this. paediatric oncologist uh, and my research at uh, Ch the Children's Cancer Institute is basically uh, centred around trying to find new treatments and cures for childhood brain tumours. I'm really passionate about biology and, and the biology of cancer is really complicated and, and we're trying to understand it and, and then the other thing is that I, I was, I wanted to be helpful. So incredible, unbelievable that you would return I've been working about three months straight on these different jobs with the police and the, decided to take the family away just up to a holiday house on the central coast and uh, Jessie came up and said she had a lump on her elbow and she was seven at the time and within 48 hours she was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma, so just shattering. I think it's only really when you have your own children that you, you truly start to empathise and, and understand what parents must go through when their child is diagnosed um, with a devastating illness like cancer or, or brain tumours. The only way that um, they said that we could try and get rid of this cancer was to amputate the arm. When you're feeling cold and lonely, you don't have to hide, it's gonna be alright tonight. I never believed she was going to die until probably the last month and that was when um, she'd had her arm amputated and the tumour came back into the shoulder. I was told you know, there were so many tumours that were in her lungs and she, uh, there was no way, it was inoperable and nothing could happen. I think everyone should support the CCIA um, because without them we, we don't have any answers to cancer treatments, to cancer preventions, to cancer cures, to hope for families. <laughs>